All right, guys, in this video, we are going to do a video on my visit and what I got from the auction. And that's the Northwest Sickly Group auction, which if you watch my videos, you will know that I went back in June. And honestly, I had a great day back in June. It's the first time I went to an auction. And this time I had another great day. So it's a fantastic day out for anyone that hasn't been because you know, you get to buy fish at a cheap rate, you know, you get to buy dry goods at a cheap rate, a lot cheaper than you would see them in the shops. And also you get to spend it with like-minded fish people. So what was good for me was I actually sat through the full afternoon with a couple of su subscribers, Kev and Ian, which obviously you'll know I've mentioned Kev before. I've become pretty good friends with Kev. And then it's the first time I met Ian. Now, Ian is one of my subscribers and has followed me for a long time. And we have only ever chatted on the comments in YouTube. He comments on every video and it was really nice to meet him. And obviously at the same time, I get to meet Bill and spend some time with Bill. So it's a great day out. Um, I went with the intention of just buying dry goods. Um, I'd already done a deal with Bill on some fish, so I was picking them up anyway. And I wanted to stock up on food and stuff like that. There wasn't, there wasn't even one bag of food in the auction, which is typical. When I went last time, there was herds and herds of food. The reason why I wanted to do that was just to basically stock up and save a bit of money throughout the winter months on f buying the food that I would normally buy but it wasn't to be and I came home with a lot of fish now oh, I need I need locking up honestly I need locking up because I went with the intention of I've got no room I don't want to set another tank up I mean I've got room for tanks but I don't want to set another tank up because I'm trying to watch my pennies for the electricity and what do I do I bring a load of fish home so yeah right it's typical me I I, you know, one thing about me is if I get something in my mind, I can't wait. I'm just not patient. And obviously being a fish keeper, there's a lot of times you need to be patient. So I would advise anybody to visit the fish auction. And obviously the one that I go to now is the Northwest Sickly Group Fish Auction, which, you know, Bill's a big part of. It. And listen, Bill and Steph, that's, that's Bill's partner, they put an absolute shift in to make this happen, along with all the other people in that fish society they do a lot and i think it goes unnoticed and you know it's tiring just sat there buying fish for the because it's like it's a good four hours so you know it's a long period of time and they are on their feet so big shout out to them yeah i would definitely advise anyone who can get there to get to the next one and for further information on the next one i'll mention it at some point but if you head over to bill's channel he's always always promoting when these uh, events come up. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna show you what I actually got from the auction. Okay, so let's see what we got from the auction. And as you can see, I have absolutely spent a few quid and got myself some goodies. So first, we're gonna have a look at what's in the bag. So I'll show you the, other, the dry stuff first, guys. Well, when I say dry stuff, I mean the, these are Indian almond leaves. Uh, and I just want to do something, a little bit of an experiment to do some black water stuff in my angel tanks. Got some plants, that's just for my sword tails. And we've, what have we got? So let's have a look what we've got. So in these bags, these are all the same, these ones that look like this. These are Corridorus fulleri, and there is two fish in each bag so can you see them so I've got eight of them so basically what happens is you you bid on the lot you're bidding on one bag so I'm bidding on one bag and then I won the bag and then I get offered all the other bags for the same price so I took all the bags so I've got eight Corridorus fuller eye I've got these here so again this is a pair of red calico bristle nose cats so as you can see so these are a male and a female. Again, I won the lot and was offered the two bags which were left and I took the two bags. So let's move these out of the way and see what else we've got. In this bag here, these are a pair of Gunther Eye Sawtails. So you'll know that I 
basically I've got a group of these already and this is a male and a female and these are a brilliant size and I'll tell you more about these in another video which we'll do on this species but check the size of them out and they are stunning so I've got them and let's let's see what else we got so in these two bags here there is a pair of Geophagus Japari. I think I said that. Japari, possible male. And, well, it is a male and female. Not a pair, an actual pair, but it's a male and a female. That's one. Sorry, guys, I am trying to. And there's the other one. I will show you these fish in the tanks when we settled them in. That's all that, and then we've got these two buckets, so obviously these are bigger fish, so let's check out what's in the buckets. So in this bucket, so in this bucket we've got three huge geophagus, which if you'll know if you watch Bill's channel, you'll know that these have come from Bill. I'm just gonna check the water temperature, guys. So it's dropped to 68 because they've been in this water quite a long time, so I'll need to drip acclimate these fish to get them up to the right temperature. And in this one, check out this Royal Pleco. I think it's an L190, and it's around about seven to eight inches. It's an absolute chunk. So yeah, absolute haul. Cracking, cracking day. Better look at these. Well, like I say, I'm gonna get these all these fish into the tanks. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you this. I mentioned in the video that they didn't have any bags of fish food, but they did have lots of frozen food. So I made up for what I didn't get in dry food for with frozen food. So I've got myself 10 packs of frozen bloodworm. So this will last me for absolutely ages. So, and believe me, I got it at a really cheap price as well. So yeah, thought I'd show you that guys. Anyway, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and check out the fish in the tanks all right so we're going to show you the fish that i got from the auction in the tank this is a week later so we'll go and look at these first and i have to show you this pair of gunther eye saw tails they are unbelievable i am so happy with these and now I've got eight of them, so I've got the six young and this stunning, stunning pair. Shout out to Phil. I got these off Phil. Phil's the guy I got the, the Jaguars off and the True Parrots. So done me proud again. Look at that female. She is massive. And I think in the end, this tank will be just theirs. Again, you know, moving forward. Check out these Calico BN. Only small, but very nice all the same. I've got two pairs of them. So I get a better focus on them. Say they're only small, there's one up there on the airline. So yeah, I got four of them, and these are the Corridoras Fuller Eye. I love these, I've seen these before. I did go to the auction with the intention of getting some more stir by, but there was no stir by in the auction. So there was a lot of Corridoras to be fair, but these are the ones that I like. When they get bigger, a very nice corridor. So happy with them. I've got eight of them. Give you another look at these sawtails because they're absolutely phenomenal. Stunning. Really, really like these. My favourite sawtail by a mile. Look at that young one there. It's grown. That's grown pretty big. So yeah, brilliant. Love that. And then what we're going to do is move over to this tank. And there is, you can see them both there. So I said these were Geophagus Jurapari. And they're not, I think it's an old school term for them, but they are Sana, Satana Perka Jurapari. That is what they're called. So that's the real name. I will put it on the screen because I know I can butcher the names, but check them out. They're stunning. They've been a bit wary, so we've just got to leave them to it. They're fine. They do come out, they feed. I've been told they're male and female, so... Happy days. They are in here with this tank. This angel tank is stunning. Like I said, I moved the sawtails, but just a thing on these Kaku sawtails. I've not done very well with them. I'm down to two. 
I had eight, I started with eight, and they've not done well at all, and I've actually got two males. So very, very easy to come by. So if I wanted to add to the group, I can do, but I don't need to right now. I'm okay with it because obviously I've consolidated fish into tanks, but they're a very, very nice sword tail too. But yeah, they are stunning. I believe they do come from the same family as the Geophagus. But I'll be honest with you, this is the first time I've, I've ever kept fish like this. Been doing a lot of research on them, watching a lot of videos of this type of fish. So yeah, really, really excited about these. And if they are a pair, that will be great. They will eventually be going into the bigger South American tank. But right now, they're staying in there. So yeah, brilliant. Absolute brilliant, brilliant day at the auction. And I have come back with some potential beautiful projects and some nice fish. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I haven't showed you the Geophagus Ultifrons or the Royal Pleco. I'm going to show you that on the next video because I had to move the South American Cichlid Tank. And, yeah, I wanted to do that as a separate video. So next time we will check those out. And just want to say thank you so much for all the support. Again, it does mean a lot. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. Just click the subscribe button. Ping the bell for notifications. Thank you so much to those of you that watch my videos and are obviously subscribed. It means a lot. And yeah, we're going to finish with this stunning, stunning female Gunther Eye Swordtail. And I will see you all on the next one.